Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 19th of July and today we're stealing three parts of the Arega project. While being seen as little as possible, we are dying shaky ex-sovereign. And I just barely noticed that this galaxy has two Vega Lagranges that are exact duplicates of each other. We apparently have no stats. Fun. Uh, but for today... We have a con camera for bash dashing, a swapper for quick swapping, and a five long range key cloners. That's fantastic. Let's go. We've got heat sensors, random kits, 30 seconds to escape. There's definitely no immediate swapping in because this is a crate right yeah all right without being seen yeah close to a fantastic dock if i had, had done a bunk instead got a mediocre one well that's fine okay all right so as long as we don't swap with this guard in particular, we're fine. If we do swap with them, we might still be fine because I think we can clone their key while they're in space. But if we don't manage to do that, then we're doomed. We got a crate here. And I don't feel like going for it when I can just do a swap. And so yeah, you're the ideal swapping candidate because we don't have a way to deal with shields. All right, let's 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 try this. Zoom out to get the reset on the rotation recenter. And we want to aim for essentially aim for the window room. Ah, I'm too far away. Ah, that's another day that I screwed up quick swap. Either I'm losing my touch. Or I just have brain fog. I'm blaming the brain brain fog frog. <laughs> There's a frog in my brain and I blame it. All right. I have to do it again. Sunk cost fallacy. There we go. All right. Give you bash. Wow, it's a good thing the sentry gun wasn't pointing that way. Uh, deactivate. Toss to you. All right. Let's let that slow down a little bit. And we get... A something. It's a gun. Where's pod? Pods. Oh, that's right. The 30 second response time means it's orbiting relatively quick. So it's hard to keep the pod in line. Maybe this will be a shotgun. Nope. It's a concussive gun, though. Okay, 15 seconds. That's kind of sad. <laughs> would have been faster to just go through the ship and then I would have got an item with it as well. So that's an oof. That's an oof, but that's an inherent risk of the quick swap. We got shotguns, we got explosives, we got defenders. That could be an issue.
It's a short ship, so I might consider not quick quick swapping on this one. Okay. Um. It sure would be convenient to swap the defender out, though. And then we have shotguns and an item. Go through here. That's simple enough. This is a little sketch about not being seen, but should be doable. Swapping with the pilot is actually very tempting. That's a pretty easy swap. Well, let's see what the angle's like. Okay, it's... Slightly awkward. Slightly awkward to go return to pod and do that. Technically, I could just move and then press E and that would undock, but I haven't practiced that, so I'm not sure on that. I guess that is what I do for the speedrun. Um, but that pod is major tempting. The only reason. Uh, the reason to not is then we don't get shotguns. You have a potential item. Then how do we get out? If we go through this whole thing, I can use a swapper to swap with the defender and then get out real easily. But unless we get lucky with the crate, getting through there without being seen is a little awkward. We can just throw a thing. We can just throw a thing. Okay, maybe I will try. So if you press a movement key, then it allows you the option of to press E to undock, I believe. Oh, and then I have to switch keys to T. Okay. This is awkward. But I've already taken some time, so let's just do this. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Something about that felt wrong. That's something I'll have to practice later. Almost felt like maybe there was a delay in when I could start piloting the pod. Glad I didn't... <laughs> Glad I didn't blast that at the explosive guard. Okay. Please don't see me. Oh, you saw me. Okay, we should be fine. Steal key card. Get up here. There we go. Take you out, because we don't need you. And then we get not a teleporter. That looks like a gun of some kind, so maybe a grenade launcher? A grenade launcher. Timed explosive. I'll pick up one for fun, but it's not super helpful. All right, I want my pod to be ready. Or at least mostly ready. And there we go. Ten seconds, not too bad. Better than ship one. Yeah, ship one was just ris risky. Well, it's yeah, just inherent riskiness. Sometimes you won't make it with a quick swap. I had a really good run of doing it pretty reliably. Um, we've got bosses. Keys, everyone's armored. Predator, jammer, defender, many center guns. All right. 
A lot of fun stuff here. It didn't matter all that much, but I did just realize that I totally could have used the cake loaner <laughs> on ship two. Specifically to get the second room key. That would have saved just a little bit of time because you don't need five of them for ship three, especially not on Foundry. Maybe on Sovereign. Those can get super long. Bong. All right. Yeah, I could have docked there. Though, with the Predator right there, is... that wouldn't have been the best, even if that's the shortest route. I think technically you can, if you get real close, you can swap with them. But there's the real risk of them just glancing your way, and then they insta-see you, and then you fail. Okay. Can I get from here to here without you seeing me? I would say maybe yes, but we've got a defended glitch dasher. And that I cannot risk. So you can see up until about here. I'm gonna throw this, but on the other hand, I could swap with one of them. Predator's coming this way. So that swap doesn't actually help all that much. So now we'll stay with this. All right, got everyone but the defender. Uh, yeah, grab this. So yeah, they would have teleported right there. If they went in front of me, they're defended. And that would just be all kinds of awkward. If I go for this crate, do I need it is the question. Go up around here, steal, give you a bash. This is a little awkward. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, unless I need it somewhere else. Nope, nope, nope. What we can do... Is use the swapper here. After grabbing this. Emergency shield. Meh. And then we can go bloop. We only need, I think, like two more. Okay, three more. But we've got more than that in Geek Loners. I'll step out of the way, let you teleport, give you a bash to get away from me. Try not to get shot here. And then, what do we do here? You looked away, so that's all we need. The other decent spot to use a swapper would be to get from here to here. Then we have to deal with everyone else looking our way. Go ahead and... Why? No, I'm still in a dash. Okay. I got distracted in monologuing and didn't pay attention to the time. That's fine, though. Okay, so... I'm thinking we bash, and then shotgun, and then shotgun, and then bash. Could leave a grenade, but that's gonna take too long. I'll leave it anyways. Uh... I'll leave it over here. Mm, yeah, bash here. 
Nope, they didn't turn around from the sound of the bash, so that makes me feel safe to do that. Bash the shielded one especially. Get you all distracted. Still in your sight. You can see up to here. So I should probably start bashing you. I didn't mean to throw that. I wanted to throw this one. Just doing a little experiment. Not much of an experiment. <laughs> oh. I hadn't forgot about the explosive, but that went off earlier than I anticipated. So that caught me off. Oh, caught me a little off guard. Oh, that was good, though. All right, open crates. We get a teleporter, it's a visitor that lets us get out of the ship. Uh, so I think I'll just undock here and send it blasting in my gener general direction. And off we go. Okay, no sights. 12 seconds, pretty solid. So yeah, ship one was the weakness. I missed out an item and took too long. And that's just how it be. So we'll see how we did in the end. Uh, do need to turn back time. I almost forgot about that. been using headphones the past few days where I usually use earbuds but those have been uh, going a bit whack and I'm finding that these headphones are uh, a little compressing <laughs> okay all right, and yep, not a surprise. 7-2 takes the top spot by two seconds. Curious what was got in the crate with ship one, which I assume they got. Unless they did uh, quick swaps, but... 7-2 is less likely to. Um, But yeah, with 36 seconds... I would imagine that the crate wasn't something that was super helpful. Or helpful is not the right word, but super speed increasing. It was like a slipstream or something. Or a sidewinder. I think there'd be a greater difference in speed. Is just my guess. There's a lot of things that can happen. Um, but yeah, very nice job, 7-2. We have... Yesterday, came in first place with a style penalty of 5. This was a quick, speedy day. We have 29 seconds and a 495. Very nice, me. Uh, we have 7-2 coming in second, Heat Signature in third, Razdal Badger in fourth, and Cassandra in fifth place, making up the top five. Good job, everybody. And yeah, oh yeah, to continue on previous thought, I ordered new covers for my headphones. That should hopefully be more breathable, and maybe that'll make them more comfortable and make me less brain foggy while wearing them. Because I... 
My brain works better when it's not foggy and being compressed and overheated and stuff. So yeah, hopefully that hopefully that helps. But that's neither here nor there. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.